So before we even read the question, notice that the answer choices all give us ranges, and importantly, none of the ranges repeat the same minimum or maximum. These answer choices are all different from one another, and that's making me think that I should be able to answer the question by just solving for the top of the range, or by just solving for the bottom of the range. I shouldn't have to solve for both, given that none of the answer choices repeat the same top or bottom of the range. So reading the question, it looks like I'm gonna to have to put aside some money for potential refunds that my customers are going to need for defective units. Now we have here this 0.3% uh, and 0.5%, but we know the percent just means divided by 100. So let's finish this off right after the intro. So what's 0.3 over 100? Or what's 0.5 over 100? Well, it's just going to be 3 over 1,000 or 5 over 1,000. So let's just work with the top of the range in this question. We'll take that five over a thousand and we'll have to multiply it by the total number of units, which is 20,000. So it'll be nice to reduce the three zeros from the bottom and the top. And we're left with just five times 20 or a hundred. And we still have to multiply by the dollar amount, which is 2,500. So the top of the range should be a hundred multiplied by 2,500 which is $250,000, and that's answer choice D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.